Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a conference event theme uh, with the event listing theme of ours. Uh, this is gonna be a seamless uh, tutorial. Uh, you have to like follow a few steps to get started with the theme. And again, it's vastly customizable to its core. Uh, before get, like, getting started, we will need to perform some pre-steps. So we will need two plugins before we start with the demo. Uh, for that, let's go to the plugin section and go to the plugin repository or installer. Over here, the first one you will need is one click demo import, okay? Uh, so you can search for one click demo import and the first plugin that will appear on the list over here by OCDI, this one, you will have to install and activate this. And the second one is Elementor. You can search Elementor over here and install the Elementor plugin. Um, you don't have to uh, by the pro version uh, the free version will work just fine but if you have pro that's great uh, those two are the requirements and of course you have to have the event listing theme installed and ready uh, we have released an update i highly suggest that you go ahead and get the update for the theme if you are using it on your wordpress website we have made certain changes and like a lot of changes to the ui or the approach or the design language uh, we have added uh, a lot of customize of customization options in the theme itself now coming to the point how to get started with the demo uh, for that you will have to go to appearance and on import demo data uh, over here you will be able to see the event listing theme is active and if you scroll down a little bit you will be able to see the uh, all the demo that we have available for you so this will be all one click import you don't have to manually import anything okay so it will import the styling it will import uh, the home page layout for you which will be uh, customizable via elementor and a little bit of demo event for you to play around so let's go ahead and get started with it all you have to do over here is click on import demo but if you're feeling curious or like wanting to review the theme itself in action you can click on this preview demo button which where uh, it will take you to uh, a demo website of ours where you will be able to uh, fill or like test the theme it on its full extent it will be a full fledged site you can perform uh, every task like you would be able to do on your own site uh, you will be able to like see how the theme looks or like how the theme feels with all other wp manager add-ons so how to get started is pretty simple all you have to do is click on import demo uh, it will take us into our pre-flight check over here and in starting of the video i told you like we will require elementor to customize the home page so that's already satisfied over here if you have installed if not it will go ahead and install it for you uh, over here you will have some suggested plugins feel free to install them if you would like to uh, when you are done you can click on continue and import give it a few seconds uh, it will go ahead and automatically import everything that's required and after that we will take a look at the site in the front end side so here it's done uh, now we can go visit the site it will open the home page for us and over here we will have to do some uh, post installation steps uh, first of all obviously as you have already noticed you have to rearrange the uh, menu a little bit so you can create a new menu and set it to main menu and that will appear over here or you can like create uh, or like you can use your existing menu uh, readjust it and use it over here uh, that's available from the customized section as you guys already know how to create menus and if you would pay a little more attention to the home page you will see the template looks a little bit weirded out so that's an easy fix all you have to do is go to edit page it will load up the page editor can be gutenberg can be classic uh, doesn't matter all you have to do is go to template choose elementor full width okay when you are done click on update that's how simple it is when it's updated you can click on the preview link or visit the website again and you'll be able to see the layout is correctly applied here um, every bit of this template over here the home page template you see is customizable to its core all right uh, everything from links to text to images everything is customizable how to do that it's pretty simple no coding required all you have to do is click on this edit elementor it will like bring out a graphical interface for you where you can customize the template itself uh, when it's loaded uh, we're gonna take a look at it right here uh, everything is drag and drop you can add remove edit every single thing on this home page template over here uh, within seconds so feel free to play uh, play around with the events over here uh, with the template over here and let us know what you think about the theme and if we have like a custom theme that we would like to submit or like a template uh, let us know in the comment we'll be sure to feature them in our next upcoming videos um, this is Elementor and you can as I said without knowing any uh, 
coding you can customize every aspect of this page over here uh, this is to provide our non-coding friends out there uh, to have like out of the box experience uh, if you're feeling curious or like you have to tweak uh, things to your taste you can do that as well uh, when you are done editing anything over here you can click on this update section over here and that will take immediate effect and let me show you what customization options we have available under customizer so this is like a new addition to the event listing theme i have already explained it many times in our other videos in case you haven't seen it let me go through this uh, like one more time very quickly so let's go to customizer and we will talk about what we have available there so standard wordpress stuff uh, like the site identity additional css home page settings widget menus are already there uh, let me go through one of them so you know already site identity what they does uh, then we have theme options so over here in the header settings you will be able to set uh, email address and telephone number to show at the top part over here uh, that's very simple let me show you how to do it you can type in any email address over here so let me type down a demo or dummy email address over here and you will see like a top bar appearing before the header itself right there and if you have a social menu added from the menu section and you want to show social menu icons they will appear right here over here right that's pretty simple if you want to show like a search icon in the menu itself that you can also do from here which i'm not going to turn on but again feel free to do so if you would like then in the footer section we have the copyright section so you can change this text of course to your test and or like your need uh, you can also select or like choose where or like which layout you want for your footer section over here by default it will be four columns available options are uh, one column two column three column and four column choose whatever you like and save and social icons show social icons so if you have a social menu it will show social icons over here in the uh, footer itself right so going back next we have site layout settings over here you'll be able to select the default site layout for your uh, website or like the template whether you want a full width or you want the box layout uh, it's upon you then uh, global sidebar settings whether by default you want your sidebars to be disabled or whether you want by default your sidebars to be enabled on the site itself that's also set uh, can be set from here itself and one useful thing about mobile uh, responsiveness whether you want to show your content at the top whether you want to show your sidebar at the top that's also configurable so content first will show content at the top sidebar first will show sidebar at the top so whatever you like you can like choose from here save your changes and that will take immediate effect um, let's go back and standard stuff like typography colors header image background image they are customizable and over here you can choose your menus to set uh, available options are a main menu uh, which will appear over here and social menu in the top bar and the, in the footer okay and going back we have widgets over here of course sidebar is an uh, widget area where you can add your widgets and on the footer section in the four columns you can add any widgets you would like then going back to home page settings uh, this is the standard wordpress home page setting stuff you can either set a uh, custom page for your home page or the latest blog post and then WooCommerce over here we have some WooCommerce specific stubs where you can set or like customize the variables uh, store notice you can type in your custom notice uh, whether you want to show the notice uh, you can configure that from there product catalog and all uh, product images then checkout everything is uh, customizable from this section itself so this theme of our WP Build Manager event listing uh, we had uh, we have compatibility for WooCommerce storefront, so that's available as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much covers up this video. Uh, last but not least, actually, additional CSS. Uh, from here, you'll be able to set any additional CSS global wide for this site if you would like so. And if you like ever uh, like want to go back to the base theme, like removing the custom color scheme or custom styling that we have uh, imported using the demo importer, uh, you can reset the theme to its original state from the customizer as well. Um, when you're done customizing, you can click on the publish button and again, it will take immediate effect and that's pretty much it. So let me know in the comment if you have any kind of questions, any kind of queries, I'll be sure to help you out in there. And until next time, I'm Shadat saying goodbye. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. <music>